Hello everybody. Today we're gonna have a quick look into how to get registered for edX and how we're supposed to get and free access which is provided by BVRIT. Now the first thing first we're gonna go to the URL which is edX.org. Once I open this URL we will be getting some link like this. So this is going to be the home page, which will be displayed for us. Now friends, first thing first, we should click on the sign in option. So once I click on sign in option, I will be getting some interface like this. In this interface, as you can see, I can directly create a new account with my provided information, or I can also sign in and automatically create one more of my account using Facebook, Google, or Microsoft. Now here, it is important for us to sign in only with Google. So once we click on sign in with Google, we're gonna go and get an option to log in to edX. We have to make sure that we are only using our college domain email, email ID something hall ticket number at bvrit.sc.in. Here as an example, I have taken placements at bvrit.sc.in. And subsequently in the next step, I should also provide my password. And once I click on next, I'll be able to see that all my details are automatically been taken here. And I have my details. Here I can accept the email ID. I can go ahead and change my uh, name, I can change my location and everything, but we have to ensure that the location is set to India. Otherwise, at later point of time, we might not be eligible for uh, getting the coupon code redeemed. Right. So once I click on sign up at this bottom of the screen, I will be going to the home page for edX. So at this point of time, we have done with the first step, which is registration for edX. Now on the very next step, what we supposed to do is we wanted to explore the courses and we wanted to register for some of the courses which are really meaningful and I strongly highly recommend all of you to talk to the department mentors and take the recommended list of courses for them from them and only register for those courses. Now, once you get the recommendation, there will be a list of recommended courses based on that you can go ahead and choose one course. So at this point of time, we will be all of us will be getting only one code and using that particular code, you can register for one course. However, there will be multiple other courses which are free that also we are allowed to take it out. Now, the coupon redemption is coming next where we only have to use the coupons where it is asking for payment for a verified certificate. So let's see how that process goes. So now I'm gonna click on explore courses and I will be able to get an area where I will be able to write the list of courses or type a name of the course. So once I write down the name of the course and click on the search bar, I'll be getting a list of courses which are matching with those terms. Now here I have to be very careful. We all have to be very careful to take up or click on or the enroll on the course which is exactly recommended by our department. We, you don't want it to go ahead and register for any XYZ courses here. Right, so I'm gonna select some courses, specifically cloud computing and as an example, and then once I click on that, if that course is a curriculum pack, that means many other courses are included in that, then uh, I'll be able to get a list and inside that specific list, I should be able to register for that particular course, right? Now, once I select that course, I will be clicking on view the course. Once I click on view the course at this part of the screen, I will be going to the next phase where I suppose to have an option to enroll for the course. And that date might be something uh, which is a previous date or which is a future date, but these courses are usually a self-paced courses. So it does not matter what is the course start date or what is the course end date? Uh, it is completely depends on our space to complete that. So once I click on this enroll option, I will be able to go to the purchase details. So as you can see, this particular course is a paid course and it is saying 
pursue the verified track and it is asking for $300 nearly. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on this option, pursue the verified track so that I can get a genuine authenticate certificate here. So I'm going to click on that option and once I click on that, uh, now it is time for me to go back to my email. This email, all of us will be receiving. So we'll go to our college email ID and we'll gonna search edX. And then we're supposed to get an email called from customer success, which will say new edX course assignment. Now, once I go into that, I'll be opening that particular email. And in that particular email, I'll be getting my coupon code. So as I get to see here, here's the access code or the coupon code, and there will be an expiry date. Now, the meaning of this expiry date is I have to use up this coupon before the mentioned date. It does not mean that I have to finish the course or something. I have to use this code before that particular date. Now, once I got this code, I have my code with me. I once again go back to my edX option where I have clicked on verify, uh, pursue my verified track. Once I click on that option, I'll be coming back to this where I have to apply my coupon code. So I'll copy that coupon code from my email and paste the coupon code here and I'll click on apply. And then once I do that, I'll get to see that, that uh, this coupon code is provided by BVRIT and whatever learning progress we are making, that all will be ensured and monitored by BVRIT. So I have to agree to that particular term and I'll click on continue. So once I click on continue, I'll be going to the next phase here where I get to see that the course was something uh, $200 or $50 or $300, whatever the amount was mentioned for that, the amount have become zero. And thanks to BVRIT for providing that coupon code. So once I get to that screen, uh, now this course is free and I can pursue my learning. All of us can pursue our learning here. Now, at this point of time, we have registered for the course. We went to our email. Once we went to our email, we got our coupon code. We got that coupon, we took that coupon code and just try to replace that particular uh, coupon code in the purchase document. So that is how this process is done. Now I will not be able to get my certificate unless or until I go forward and verify my option. So at the bottom of the screen where you are getting that same option where the uh, amount is showing zero, Below that, you'll get one option. It's called verify your identity. So go ahead and click on verify your identity, verify now. Once I go ahead and click on that, I'll be getting two options here. The first option uh, is with the camera where I have to show my face to get myself verified. And the second option, I have to uh, hold one identity card. It can be other card, pan card, passport or anything. And I have to show both the sides of that to get verified. So once I do that, my course verification will be done. And with this, I'll be completely finishing the course registration for edX. Now, that is basically all friends. Uh, I wish you a very, very, very happy learning. And I hope uh, you will be utilizing this benefit to the maximum extent possible. And once again, Thanks to our college management for providing this opportunity to learn edX paid courses free of cost. Thank you very much. Enjoy learning.